Hello everyone, I'm Mewtwo, and welcome to Creepy Castle. Yes, uh, it's another Electro game. I don't know what to expect. I've played a little bit of this, but it's kind of strange, so we'll jump into it and figure it out as we go. Creepy Castle, I guess. Oh, I have a cursor. The eponymous adventure! Moth embarks to the creepy castle known as the City of Light, where rumors say a world-threatening conspiracy lurks. Theme, fantasy adventure. Oh, there's multiple games, it looks like. Okay, let's check it out. On the horizon, a castle like shadow becomes stone. From its walls seep tales of dark conspiracy within, and to investigate comes the vagrant swordsman, Moth. Coming all this way had been an endeavor on its own, even for a soul of his wanderlust, but the real trial was only beginning. And though he was no stranger to happening upon the shady machinations of conspirators, little could he ever suspect the immense gravity of what would transpire. Turn the page. In this creepy castle. Okay. There I am. Okay. <laughs> I guess I guess I'll come off. This looks like a training ground. Use your confirm button to read science and brush up on your know-how. Okay. Okay. Action command. You can always use the next and previous item buttons to highlight your action command. Depending on context, this is used to attack, open chest, save, and more. Okay. Oh, okay. Adorable. You got a, is that a tuba? Oh, it's a key. <laughs> Obviously. Using items. With the next and previous item buttons, you can highlight any items you select. Keys, open doors, foodstuffs, heal HP, and then etc. Okay. Sometimes to get to where you need to go, you'll have to jump off a ledge. Go ahead. It's fine. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, same. Okay. Okay, let's see what's down that ladder over there then. Oh, it's a key door. Okay. Well, at least I know that's there now. there. Hey there, I'm Locke. I'm looking for a certain key. I can tell you about the different kinds of keys. Golden keys like this one are used to open normal doors. Okay. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, so you can't avoid that. Okay. What's this? A CD? Donuts are great. Jelly filled, my favorite. Okay. Food operator's manual. A long day's work will often leave the body weary, weary, weird. Thankfully, when we lose our stamina, there is a solution to exhaustion. The consumption of food. It's a rice ball. No, sorry, is that a rice ball? Okay. <laughs> Ice cream, cone, and apple. Different foods will restore stamina to varying degrees. The extent of the foodstuff's restorative capability is conveyed at the top of the screen, to the right of your level. When a foodstuff is selected, to consume foodstuff, press your acting button when the appropriate foodstuff is selected. Okay? Place the food in your mouth and begin the mastication process. Using your mandibular function, teeth, and tongue to exert force and crush your food. Choo choo. <laughs> when, the t when the food is well ground and sufficiently lubricated with saliva, commit swallowing by relaxing your throat muscles. Okay, this is getting really in depth. Opening up your sphinx. 
character and moving the chewed food to the back of your mouth with your tongue. Food will then slide into the esophagus. Automated digestion will follow and nourish your body through absorption of nutrients. Between and after swallowing the food stuffs fragments, be sure to resume breathing. See chapter <laughs> Have a nice day, Point Dexter. Well, thank you. Thank you for the, the very in-depth and elaborate destruction of how to consume food. <laughs> I don't think I had to collect those things, so... Quick Draw. Sometimes when fighting an inter enemy, a duel will be initiated. They come in quite a few flavors. Quick Draw is one such flavor. Wait for the prompt, then hit the Confirm button to strike first. Okay. But don't be too antsy and hit the button before the prompt, or you'll be fumbled and leave yourself wide open. But also, don't be too slow, or you'll just be punched in the face. Most of the time, you'll punch, punch each other in the face. Try your best! <laughs> okay, thank you. Ah! Oh, shit. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Guess I'll eat this food. Um. I gotta level up! Okay. Sweet. What did I do for me? I guess I, I guess I have to drop down. Whee! Ugh! There's safe to my right. Oh, it's like a ration or something. Alright. It's like a Metal Gear Solid ration. Sometimes you'll have to struggle to get away from an indoor attack. Just press the left and right buttons alternate as fast as you can. If you're too slow, there will be painful consequences. Even if you take damage, don't stop struggling, or else you'll be taking more damage. Try your best. It's a snack! <laughs> fire beauty. What is a fire? A fire of ire. Beauty which should be desired. I think to which you should aspire. Is that your soul? Glow like a fire. Work all day and night to master Darkling's delight. I burn full of pride. It crackles, it burns, it licks at the air. Fire, fire! The forest despair. Autumn 15th. Well, it's been a week, the new place now. I must say I missed my old place in the barracks. There is this one spot in my roof that falls down no matter how many times I patch it back up. It seems like it always happens when I walk under. I guess it's the vibrations, maybe? Apparently, I don't have it at the worst here, though. Down the hall, there's a guy who hears terrible poetry recital all day, and another in an overgrown room with a leak. Oh, well, I suppose I can try to grin and bear it. What else can I do? Autumn 16th. Okay, no, I can't put up with this. <laughs> Out of sixth. Well, I've been placed into a room. I've been assigned some menial labor for a place to stay. I must say that things were off to a bit of a shaky start with the whole bolt thing, but I'm a little optimistic about this. It's out of ninth. It's been nice to hang out with Locke again. This castle has a lot of loot, so in between his duties, he's been prowling about and checking everything for the key he wants. Of course, that's just what Locke does, after all. Eleventh, I've heard that a strange device being built here called the Heartbreaker, and it sounds awfully suspicious. I was afraid there'd be a catch to this place, and I'm starting to fear the Heartbreaker is that catch. Hey there. Hello there, my name is Lovak. Uh, you seem like you're new here too, huh? I got here about a week ago myself. Wow, is that a sword? You look like you're a professional fighter, or traveler, or something. Okay. Oh, sorry. Alright. Is there anything over here? Yeah, my memory's fucking awful. Oh, there's actually a map. Wow. I didn't realize this. Those must be save points then. Let me go ahead and save it again.
All right, Moth. Let's go kill this and kick some ass. Get some XPs. Oh my god, three locked doors. Okay. Alright, hold on a second. You can't walk off a ladder. That's good enough. Which to the right here? Stick! Wait, copper sword? You get like a new item or something? Yeah, let's go ahead and eat that. People you, you converse with have a speech bubble above their heads. Many, many have multiple messages. When you have exhausted conversation, the speech bubble disappears. Oh, thank you. Have you come to investigate what's going on around here? It's getting dangerous. I'm gonna escape. You'd be wise to do the same. Good thing I can press the pause button and use the map and take a look at where I've been. Okay. Key. Trap Enthusiast, Falling Down, Carpentry Headache, or Little Headache, page 13. Falling Ceilings, you may feel alarmed when the stronghold falls into disrepair, but don't. Let that decrepit roof up a threat be a threat to your intruders. Only those with quick feet will get you away in time, and only prospective protags will notice the visual differences of a dilapidated ceiling. See you next month with a specialty trap sure to knock off your feet. It's a real ball. Stay crafty, trappers. There's also a QR code here. I wasn't prepared for this. Hold on a sec. What the hell does this say? It says, I'm mean, I am mean and never quits. Okay. <laughs> Snack. Out of here. <laughs> Autumn fourteenth. Oh man, where do I start today? My living conditions in the worst apartment ever continue as terribly as expected. They assure me that I'd get nothing but the best accommodation in the castle. Ha! <laughs> what a joke. I turned on the tap and water came rushing out immediately, and it didn't even stop until I turned it off again. This is crazy. <laughs> can you see how dangerous it is? What if someone broke into my place and turned it on just to drown me? I can't believe they failed to account for that. Yesterday, I opened my window, revealing an amazing sight of the nature of the outside castle and flooding the room with sunlight. What is this madness? How could I ever convince myself to go outside in my free time, now that I have access to something almost as good as from the comfort of my own room? Uh, they are clearly trying to assassinate my long-term health and fitness. I can't believe I have to live in a squalor when these people down the halls have it so good. One guy gets to hear poetry anytime he wants for free. That stuff is not even getting, not even released in print yet. Another one has an infinite supply of top quality all natural vines. I am green with envy. But that's not even the worst. One of them literally gives a convertible. He can remove the roof whenever he wants. My roof can't do that. This is discrimination. I'll raise hell with these dung beetles and this management. <laughs> Slim. What's this? All toasters. Oh, it's 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 toast. <laughs> All toasters, toast, toast. Isn't that a Mario Brothers CDI thing at like the Mario Hotel Mario? <laughs> oh, that's close.
Sumo, sometimes you and your enemy will have to find yourselves locked, trying to push each other back. Press the display buttons in order to shove your enemy back and leave them vulnerable. If you're not fast enough, you'll get shoved over yourself. Try your best! Toast, yep. Sweet. I'm a connoisseur level one! Yay! Yeah, I didn't go this way yet. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, that's where the uh, toast was. There's a moon over there. I don't know how to get that, though. I can't jump or anything. Alright, um, I guess, uh. I got all three keys. I don't think there's anywhere else to go, so. Man, I didn't go up here. I'm the, I'm the first to move into the new living accommodations. I have a pretty cozy little joint. I love it. I was a little nervous when the people were getting moved out to make room so, oh, sleep is, okay, so scientists could sleep closer to their work. But this might be alright. Automate, the lead of the IUS, 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 sorry, development moved in next door. He's nice, but I guess he doesn't need to sleep at night because he's made of plasma, as he says. So he's kind of noisy. I asked him to keep it down, but I still hear his, his poetry reading. I cannot believe it. This hack thinks he's Bug Spear. Every time I ask him to watch the volume or at least the meter, he's back at it again in half an hour. And then, uh, since he can't use paper, he loudly chisels his poems into tablets. At least I hope it's just tablets. I can't be the walls, right? I fear he's doing terrible things to the structure of both stone and stanza alike. I guess there are some people who have it worse than me here, though. Down one hall, there's a slimy room under a pool, and down another, there seems a guy whose ceiling keeps falling on him. Every day of my life is bad poetry. Help! <laughs> I'm at my new apartment and I have bad feel about it. There's vines? Like all over. I'll try cleaning up. I think I can make it work. All the vines are gone. The vines came back and it's so muggy in here and the roof started leaking all over this diary and now the pages are sticky. There's even more vines than there were at first. It's like a hydra. I feel like the vines and I went off to a bad start. I shouldn't have cut them down. They were here first. At least I don't have it like the people down the halls from me. One guy kept all, all night by bad poetry or something, and the other guy has gotten like five concussions because his roof is falling apart, and it keeps nailing him. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're, uh, we're done here, so... Unless there's some kind of secret thing I can do with the moon. I saw that, but I don't know... If you get, like something later that can help you get up there. I don't know if it's like a Metroidvania sort of situation, but I just can't seem to... I mean, it's just a window to the outside, and it's just a moon. <laughs> Possibly. Alright. Let's go open those doors, shall we? Alright, down we go. Whoa. Oh, the music's gone. Is that an eggplant? You'd rather have an egg, but this plant will do. And I got, I can still hear it winking. Ugh. I'm full on health, so I'm good at the moment. Hello there. Monsoon. You, what are you doing here? It seems that fate has destined our weapons to clash once more. It's a boss! Oh. Oh, fuck! Ugh. Oh, I see.
Suck my nuts! Oh! Shit. Get the fuck out of here. Whoa. Bunch of cookie and get a fortune. Sure. You will eat another cookie one day. Son of a bitch. I guess I'll eat some meat. Hey. Right, level up. I don't know what that means for me. But... <laughs> that a shrimp? I have no problems eating this. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um. Hey, a long fall. Am I gonna be okay? I said I'll be fine. Ugh. <laughs> All right. New area, I guess. Gonna save it. Take out that snack. Carpenters just balls to the walls, coming like a heck of a ball. Buy as many of these as you can afford. Anyone standing directly under the center of a ball will chain as the passes will experience a world of hurt. Fun for the whole family. 100% quality iron is good for protection as it is decoration. Order today, chappers. Do we have a treat for you next month? A real thorn in your side. A trap of this quality is as rare as a needle in a haystack. Stay crafty, trappers. That QR code says... A secret lies beyond the well. Dog. It's a dog eating hot dog world. Ah! It's a fucking. I crit me, fucker. Nightning. <laughs> Stay away. Only darking may cross the dead lake. I'll oh, fuck you up, sir. Yeah, oh, critting fuckers. God, they crit a lot. Out of food now. Trap enthusiasts, wow, wow! Trouble with foot, watch your step or face regret. You know when traders would really hate to have a walk to walk over? Spikes! But obviously, no one would walk right into bed of spikes. That's why these ones retract, offering the illusion of safe passage. Invaders will try to make it across, but they will have a good enough timing. It will be doubted. We're really on fire this time. Don't let your trap enthusiasm fizzle before you see what's coming. Next. God. Okay, it's fire. It's fireballs. There's fireballs in the next issue. See you next month. <laughs> Let's see what this says. It says, climb the chains near the ghost palace entrance. Okay. Is that a fucking bomb? Defeat storm enemies. Pizza and a fortune cookie? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get going down. Let's 
Snake. A rare fruit with a funny name. Come quad. Your winner! Your winner. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Ken was here. Okay. What's that? Special Hurricane Slice? Uh, should I try that? She is so good! Hockey hooky! Please don't lie. Alright. Well, that was cool. <laughs> oh. Precision Strike. Sometimes you will encounter a fast and hard to hit enemy. Slider indicator will move across the screen. Press the confirm button when the indicator overlaps strips to catch your enemy. Successfully hitting the strips will fill your attack bar. Not feeling enough will result in failure and you'll literally excel at filling it. You will get a perfect. The strips contain two components, a red region and a smaller golden region. Hitting the center of the red region will yield the greatest addition to your attack bar. Hitting gold perfect region at the end point will add twice as much to hitting as red region in the center. Okay. Try to hit as many gold regions as possible, but it's alright if they seem too risky sometimes. It can be better to hit the red of a strip than try to fail to hit the gold of a strip. Hit the confirm button at the wrong time or get all, and the minimum will get away from you. Very best. Manny Mantis. Oh, oh no, the intruder really did get me here. Get here, well, uh, I'm gonna stop you. Okay. Oh, I see. Perfect. No! Oh, right. Damn it. Ah. Okay. Hello there, I saw you on the way out when I was thinking of running. I decided not to. I feel too much kinship with my brother and we're here to run. Not without convincing him to go, too. I think there was a double agent in the ranks. The new girl. What was her name? Aunt Queen? If there's some- If there's people like her trying to stop Dark King's evil, I should do what I can, too. You kind of try to get me to the bottom of what's happening here? Well, best luck to you. Answers await in the lab. Okay, so we're back at the top. Let me head up here real quick and save it. Actually, I wonder if the door was to the left. Ice cream! Come back when you're level 100. <laughs> what the? Fuck off. Oh, shit. Oh, 
don't know if I'm gonna live this, guys. Oh, he actually is like impossible. How does he be dead? <laughs> Game over. Wait. <laughs> Well, I had, to, I had to see what would happen. All right. Maybe it was like a joke or something. Nope, he's actually impossible. <laughs> okay, what happens if I jump off to the left? I can't. Okay. What happened to the music? It's okay, it's fine. There it is. <laughs> Go right, so this must be where the door is. Hey there. Hey. Ow. Oh, okay. Hmm, I never fell down there yet. Let me save it real quick and I'll drop down there. So what if I fall to the left here? What will that do for me? Uh... Okay, this kind of leads back. Oh, it's actually a new area. Okay. Who are you? Hello. Night Girl. Hello there, I'm Night Girl. This part of the castle, the Marble Atrium, has three experience crosses. Find them all to get level four. There are two guardian bosses around these parts. Each guard's an experience cross and a key. If you take two keys down to the lowest part of the Marble Atrium, you're gonna unlock the lamps. The third strikes. The third stray experience cost in this area is up near the entrance. You might have already nabbed it. You know that thing up near the entrance in the east? The dead lake? Darkening stone storm is on the other side of it. Okay. Darkening seems to value my work quite highly. Bizarre, considering how far back some other people are here to go with him. I suppose he prefers company that does not constantly compare him to his past self. There are those that do not approve of Darkening's plan. Oh, they might, I'd rather say it, but I can sense it in the way they act. Their concerned facade is all too familiar to me. I have seen it from the other side, upheld it. But now, though, they are playing along. They may not believe in his vision, but they still believe in him. The time to prove their worth has come. A very particular intruder is loose on the compound as things are sure to get spiraled into chaos. Speaking of going far back... Oh? Oh. Chicken. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay, oh, he's back. Hello there. You there! You must be the intruder they're talking about! Get lost! Things are afoot that don't concern you! Chests. I don't know. <gasps> it's a mimic! He blepped me! That looks like a Nami. Oh. Yeah! I killed the blip. Why this one? It's ice cream cone. It's a potato. And bam. Okay. 
should probably use these bombs, I guess. I'll, I'll use them on like, the tougher enemies that take more than one hit. It'll save me some health. That's a lot of stairs. Like this guy here. Yeah, boom! Oh, there's a book there. Oopsies. Stairs operator manual. To descend, carefully place a foot on the step in front of you. Once a stable foothold is established, place the foot not used in the previous action on the step in front of the step your first foot is currently occupying. Repeat the previous step until the lower floor is reached safely. Now return to normal walking procedure. To ascend, see chapter 35. Have a nice day. Point Dexter. Okay. Ah! Hell, bitch. It's in the black. Did you not? Wait, that door? What is that? A very goal. A little meaty treat. It was like a chicken nugget? Oh, that was potato. I wonder. First come, soft served. It's luck. Hmm, this isn't the key I'm looking for either. But it's a bread key. You can use it to open doors to hidden optional areas. Okay. Ugh. Oh, hi. You big. Uh, let's see one of these. Yeah. Okay. Hey, do it. Sorry, Moth. In these tough economic times, I had to take my any job I could find. And I ended up taking this as gig as a boss. Oh, he's cute. Yeah. Oh, I like the music. Ah! You're trying to roll me over? Yeah, fortune cookie. The first fortune intentionally left blank. What? <laughs> oh. Wait, how do I get across this? Just got it. Thought it'd be like too fast. It's down. I see it. Wait. This is our well. Go away. Uh. Hmm. Something about the well is like go beyond the well or something like that. Oh, maybe I have to use the key? Nope. Alright, I don't know. Oh, fuck. Wow. Damn, that sucked. It's fine. I had some ice cream. Oh no, yeah, there you are. Uh, yeah, oh, you sure don't put any punches. I gotta lie down after that. My contact contractual obligation is over now, so what do you say we hang out? I was actually just making my round securing all the entrances, but I guess I dropped my key somewhere. 
You can keep it if you find it. They'll fire me anyway for failing to stop you. I'm not mad or anything. Just stop sucks, actually. I like the idea of being all important and bossy, but I was a bit over my head. My co-workers seem to have been more experienced with this. Like that monsoon guy? Man, one, one look at him, you know he's a boss. I guess I better put some applications out. Probably gonna need a few pal to play soon. You know what? They can't kick me out if I leave my own first. <laughs> I'll go have to grab some... I'll go have to grab my stuff from my room before I go. Well, you take care out there. It seems like some serious stuff is afoot in this castle. Alright. Yeah? So you switched the inventory page. Oh, I can hold more now. Hey there, you look like you can use this bag to help you carry more stuff. Select it and use it for a whole second inventory page. I like it. Okay, and cross. Yay! Ugh. Alright. Wait, oh. That's a drop. One second. Oh, this is where the chests were. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll go down this way. Uh, uh. Where's the key doors? Okay. What an interesting door! It has a lock, but a figurative one, rather than a literal one. It will only open when you are low on health. Oh. Shit. I guess I can use spikes to do that, but... Okay, let me go save up here real quick. I wonder where the, uh... The red key goes to. Unless it's this door. Nope. Alright, I can just use the spikes to injure myself, I guess. Is that low enough? There it goes, okay. Hey there. Hey there. Let our enchanting melody soothe your weariness and fire up your morale. Move to the beat of our music. Feel free to use the whole dance floor. Well, thank you. What the hell? Okay. And it's gone. I guess it's there if you need to heal yourself. Okay. Anyway. Pursuit. Sometimes your enemy will dance about trying to avoid your attacks. Use the movement buttons to align your targeting reticle with the enemy. Hit the confirm button to punch them in your face. Don't attack the wrong space, or you'll get faked out and punched in the face. Try your best. Oh, I see. Okay. Red door was, but oh well.
Ugh. All right. Innovator, you will prime. You will be prime experiment fodder. Told you to. Oh, I told you not to interfere! I won't hesitate to beat you within an inch of your life if that's what it takes! Okay. Boom. Yeah. The revolution of logic darking. What is life? Life is a painful struggle, a mockery of how enlightened we esteem ourselves to be. We act as though our institutions and nebulous essences of righteousness have the world composed into blissful harmony, but those things are constantly at odds with each other and reality itself, nothing more than an unending cacophony of cognitive dissonance. It's the dawn of time we have soaked the earth with blood, spilt for no purpose, from individuals tangled in petty squabbles to so-called leaders conjuring up fictitious justifications for their ambitions. Our world burns and innocents die, all for the fleeting whims of fools. We are but animals dancing at the tune of bestial instincts, puppeteered at the behest of emotion. How could we be called sentient life? Our feral animality bubbles just under the surface and takes a mere nudge to bring to light our ancient and carnivorous instincts, our thirst for murder. We are doomed to be just close enough to true enlightenment, to be aware of it. We may see it from here, but we are fools to think we are already there. It feels so close, we can almost grasp it, yet it remains firmly out of our reach and forever will. But just as crippled man may still walk with a cane, what if we could use something to compensate for our shortcomings? Something to allow ourselves to ascend to that revered concept of higher intellect that is just out of our reach? I have been tirelessly at work to research and create one such panacea, and present a technological marvel as our way out of this existential quandary, the Heartbreaker. With the power of this machine, we stand at the precipice of a new way of living. At last, the tantalizing ideal can finally become a reality. When exposed to the Heartbreaker's waves, all people of the world may finally cast aside their differences, and at long last unite and advance together towards a golden era of prosperity and knowledge. A rational future, free of war. The revolution of logic. With the appearance of the Ant Queen, we have been blessed with the designs of technology with the incredible capacity to bridge space, a function we may use to emit heartbreaker waves at any point in the world, the galaxy, in our universe, or even in other universes. Please join me in an endeavor to save the world in the precious little time before it is inevitably lost forever. Decking. Okay. Well then. <coughs> Need a drink after that. <laughs> I was like, Ugh. Oh, heartbreak. Uh, log 2. One. Uh, test subject was exposed to 10 minutes of heartbreak radiation. No discernible damage to the tissue. All organs functional. Test subject in deep coma since exposure to radiation. <laughs> no reaction to outside input. Brain analysis shows complete absence of dreaming activity. Hypothesis seems confirmed. Lack of dreams taken indicates successful removal of emotions. Experiment is deemed to success. Further data needed. Reduction exposure time suggested moving forward. End of file. Okay, heartbreak three. Uh, test subject was exposed to five minutes of heartbreak radiation. No outward signs discomfort. Observed after the initial sobbing subsided. Sobbing lasted for 7.03 seconds. Test subject unable to answer when asked for greatest fear after previously stating to be affected by intense claustrophobia. Test subject reports no ailments or issues after spending two days locked into test crate. Hypothesis seems confirmed. Emotion that fear is successfully removed. Further data needed. Interesting. Oh, it's a one-way door. No! Is it an elevator? Okay. And let's head up. Oh, it's in the fucking vampire. Are you still invincible? Yeah. Ugh, okay. Nope, okay. I don't know how to kill those guys. Unless you can get, like, a cross or something. 
okay. Left we go then. Maybe I missed something. Actually, let's go ahead and end the episode there, guys. I love you and thanks for watching. I will be back soon. Okay, goodbye.